When I worked at the Apple store, I used to say that iPhones can't get hacked. That's not as true as it used to be. To be honest, I'm not sure how true it ever was. Usually when people think their phone is hacked, it isn't, but that doesn't mean all is well. By the time they get to that point, they're one step away from being scammed or hacked for real. In this video, we'll show you what happens to make people think they've been hacked and how you can escape dangerous situations online. And we'll show you how scammers use your fear of being hacked to steal your personal information and your money. Let's start with the most common reason people think their phone is hacked, they are online, they visit a website and it says, your phone has been hacked. Enter the hacker's evil twin, the scammer. They both have one thing in common, they want your money. And this is how they try to get it. They're trying to trick us into believing that they have a solution to fix our iPhones. In truth, your iPhone isn't broken. You're supposed to feel afraid at this point and they're here to save you. You call them to get unhacked somehow. Then they ask you for your credit card information because of course their service and time are valuable. And then they've got your money and they're gonna keep taking your money until you cancel your credit card. In this case, you weren't hacked, you were scammed. What should you have done instead? The best thing to do when you think you've been hacked is just to close out of Safari by swiping up from the bottom of the screen, then open settings, scroll down and tap on Safari scroll down and tap clear history and website data, then tap clear history and data, then tap close tabs. Exactly, this is the Safari reset button. The next time you open Safari, those tabs are closed and the website is gone. Yep, the scammers didn't get any of your personal information because Safari doesn't send information without your permission. Later in this video, we'll show you how to take preemptive action against those hackers. But as I learned in fifth grade, even the best protection isn't 100% effective all the time. Moving on to another way people think they're hacked, text messages. Let's open the messages app and look, there's been fraudulent activity on my bank account. That's totally real. This is the exact exact same trick we just talked about. The only difference is how they get you into their evil sales funnel. Instead of a website that shoots you off to a scam, it's that link inside the text message. If you click the link in a spam text message, reset Safari just like we did in the previous example. Step two, there's an awesome new iOS 16 feature that makes reporting this scammer a thousand times easier than it used to be. Open the messages app again, then tap back in the upper left-hand corner of the screen. Swipe right to left on the message, tap the trash can, and then tap delete and report junk. A few months ago, we published a video where we walked through the process of manually reporting this to your carrier. Now your iPhone does it automatically. It's awesome. Up until this point, we've been dealing with scammers pretending to be hackers, but what about the real McCoy? It's true that iPhones can get hacked. It's so true nowadays that even Apple admits it. Let's talk about the built-in settings that protect your iPhone from being hacked. Let's close out of the messages app open settings and tap back to the main page of settings. Then scroll up and tap general and then tap software update. Software updates always contain bug fixes and security updates. Keeping your iPhone up to date is always the safest move. Then tap automatic updates and make sure the switch next to security responses and system files is on. This installs rapid security responses and system files on your iPhone. What's interesting to me is that it says some system files will always be installed automatically even if the switch is turned off. I wonder what the difference is. No idea, they're not gonna come out and tell us. Apple isn't a perfect company, but this is one example of where you should trust them. The last thing Apple wants is for your personal information to get stolen. Photos app, home app, health app, Apple's entire business model is based around you trusting them. And to paraphrase Steve Jobs, if anyone's gonna steal from Apple, I want it to be us. But this isn't the only setting that shows just how vulnerable your iPhone is. Let's go back to the main page of settings. Scroll down and tap privacy and security, then scroll down and tap lockdown mode. This is a setting we hope you'll never have to use. We're not gonna turn it on, but we'll explain what it does and when you should use it. The information on Apple's website is better than what you see here in the settings app. Lockdown mode is an optional extreme protection that's designed for the very few individuals who, because of who they are or what they do, might be personally targeted by some of the most sophisticated digital threats. Most people are never targeted by attacks of this nature. Don't take it personally, you just aren't that important. Thanks, David, you always know just what to say. So what does it do exactly? It takes all the easiest ways iPhones can get hacked and just shuts them right down. In messages, attachments and links like the one we showed you before are blocked. Web browsing, we've talked about that one. FaceTime, Apple services like the Home app and shared albums, those are turned off too. USB accessories like computers and cars are no longer trusted. The first time you connect your iPhone to a car, a pop-up appears asking if you wanna trust that device. Once you trust it, you trust it forever and that device has access to data on your iPhone. Let's say you're at the amusement park and you need to charge 
charge your iPhone. You plug your iPhone into a public charging station and the trust this device pop-up appears. That is a huge red flag. You never have to enter a passcode to charge your iPhone. Somebody is after your data. And configuration profiles. Let's talk about them next. A configuration profile is a single file that sets up your iPhone in a very specific way. Businesses and schools all over the world use them. You create these profiles using Apple's configurator app for Mac. But they can be used for nefarious purposes. For instance, a hacker could set up a proxy server to send all your internet traffic through their servers. All it takes is for a profile to be installed once. You might never know it's there because they're designed to be invisible. How do we know if there are any profiles installed? Let's tap back to the main page of settings, scroll up and tap general, scroll down and tap on VPN and device management, and here you'll see configuration profiles. If you don't see this section in settings, you don't have any profiles installed. We have the iOS 16 beta software profile installed on our iPhones because we need to keep up with the latest features. That comes directly from Apple and we trust them. If you see a profile you don't recognize, like subscribe to our channel, tap on that, then tap remove profile. Just make sure it's not a profile from your business or school. Never install a profile from a website, email, or person you don't trust on your iPhone. Let's talk about what we can do to protect ourselves from hackers and take it a step further. We'll start by recommending a free app that everyone should download. It's called Cloudflare Warp. Go back to the home screen on your iPhone and then open the app store. Tap the search tab in the lower right-hand corner of the screen, then type in Warp and tap the blue search button. The app we're going to install is called 1.1.1.1 Faster Internet. It's a free app by a company called Cloudflare. Cloudflare is trustworthy. They're a leader in internet security. And by the way, they didn't pay us to say this or recommend this app. Warp is a free VPN and faster than the DNS you have at home. Let's download the app and then open it up. They're going to ask you to install a profile. This one is safe. Let's tap Install VPN Profile and then tap Allow. Enter your passcode. You can turn on notifications if you want, but I'm gonna say not now. You turn it on by tapping on that switch. You don't need to pay for Warp Plus. After turning on the switch, tap the hamburger menu in the upper right hand corner of the screen, then go to Advanced, tap Connection Options, tap DNS Settings, tap 1111 for Families, and then choose Block Malware or Block Malware and Adult Content. Like we said, no protection is 100% effective, but this really does make your iPhone a lot safer and you probably won't notice it's on. We've talked about hackers and scammers, but what about legitimate companies that want access to all your photos or your location all the time? Watch our next video to find out how to shut them down too.